Yeah, my name is Dorothy Nachibuka. I'm the education officer, UNICEF Uganda. Yeah, my name is Laloche Viria. I'm a head teacher in one of the primary schools in Uganda. It is in northern Uganda. It is called St. Martin Primary School. Yeah. Uh, in UNICEF Uganda, we are really promoting girls' education movement. And one of them, we've really identified one of the primary schools that is St. Martin Primary School in northern Uganda, and we've supported them. With me here, we have Elveria, who can really talk about what they are doing in this, their school and how they've really promoted child mothers back to school. Yeah, in St. Martin Primary School, there was a club called Girls' Education Movement, which was introduced in 2006, which is really once uh, it is aiming at uh, uh, bringing back girls at school, let them stay at school, and then complete primary cycle. So we embraced it uh, positively. We made the, we, we, made, we formed the clubs, and the clubs have been going out, advocating for girls' education, importance of girls' education, through music, dance, and drama, through radio, uh, through talk show, through uh, uh, some moving, I mean, moving in the communities and ad advocacy for the girls' education. Maybe you can tell a story of, say, one girl in particular yeah. that you remember. Yeah. So in 2007, I think when we, uh, this club went to, you know, in 2006 we were still, uh, our committee was still in camps. So uh, the school went to the camps to advocate for girls' education. And there was a girl who had already dropped out, among others anyway. So when she listened, she was encouraged and she came back. She's called Sarah, Sarah Romoraj. She had already dropped because both parents were killed. And she was staying with a relative where she was not even getting good support for education. So she came back to school. When she came back to school, we, was, we supported the girl, the girls' education movement also supported the girls. The teachers gave good, uh, some psychosocial support, and the girl was encouraged to complete primary school. After that one, she passed away, and she went to senior secondary school. Uh, unfortunately, she completed senior one. Then after senior one, she could not get money, and she was staying at home. Last year, uh, she stayed uh, in 2008 at home, but 2009 she came back to school and she's now in senior three. Thank that you is the success much. which we have made.